Hey guys, earlier today, Borderlands tweeted out something pretty interesting. They said that you might have noticed something peculiar going on with Borderlands 3 vending machines. Legendary items are being added to them as we speak. Deals like these won't last past April 2nd, so grab them before they're gone. And they're calling this event a Door Busters mini event. It's going on today, March 27th through April 2nd for Borderlands 3, which is really generous of them. The farming with this is insane. You can get so many legendaries and pick up the ones that you might have not been able to get your hands on. So yes, they're adding legendaries to all the vending machines and those include Dr. Zed's meds, ammo dump, and the guns machine. For Dr. Zed's meds, you're going to be finding legendary class mods and shields. For the ammo dump machine, you're going to be getting grenades and then the guns machine, you'll be getting obviously legendary guns. Some of the machines this doesn't work for is going to be this machine here next to Earl. You're still just going to be getting the regular weapons here will not find any legendary. This also does not apply to any of the slot machines. These things are just performing normal. So again, it's just these three machines. And I'm going to show you guys the best place to go where you can maximize this farming. You'll get a ton of machines and then you can restart the game, come back in and keep checking the machines for more legendaries. You will get legendaries every time you look into these machines and you will get new ones every time you restart. So you can just keep checking them, restarting until you get what you want. What you can expect to find is all the base game legendaries. This is not going to include any of the DLC legendaries for Handsome Jack's DLC or the new DLC for Guns, Love, and Tentacles. And you can certainly try going into those DLCs and seeing for yourself, but for me, I did not see any of the new DLC weapons. The first thing you're going to want to do to set this up and maximize it is to turn on at least one of the Mayhems. I put on Mayhem Mode 4 because I noticed that you get a lot more more anointed that way. At least half of everything you see is anointed. If you don't turn on Mayhem and you're in a higher rank and you go into this map I'm going to show you, you're going to be getting low level weapons. So you want to turn on some kind of Mayhem so that it will bring those weapon levels up to your level. So I looked through all the planets and all the maps to find the best location to do this and to farm quickly. And it looks like Devil's Razor map is the best location. This is going to be on the planet Pandora and then you'll be able to find this map there. This is also a great location because it's not DLC. There might be some people out there that don't have DLC 1 or 2, but if you have the base game, then you will have access to this location. This map is great because it has the most machines. Most maps throughout the game only have two machines close to the fast travels, and these two locations on this map both have three machines. This map only has two fast travels, and again, both of them have machines right next to it. Right here, Roland's Rest, as soon as you spawn in this location you just turn right around and there are the machines then you can just quickly fast travel to the other side of the map to boomtown and again you'll have three more machines accessible right next to that fast travel so again just go into devil's razor go into either of the fast travels and then hit up the machines and then fast travel to the other side of the map hit up those machines and then restart the game rinse and repeat what you can expect to see whenever you're doing this farming is that the zed's meds machine will give you two items it'll give you a class mod and a shield and then the other two will just typically give you one item a grenade and then a gun also i noticed that on mayhem mode 4 i was getting at least 50 percent of these legendary items to have an anointed ability and when i turned mayhem off i noticed i wasn't getting hardly anything with anointed so it definitely affects it this definitely seems to be a good way to get some of the more desirable legendaries like the hex grenades i saw multiple of those there's one here and then also one of the really good versions of the hex grenades showed up the Mervtacular Hex. Also, there are some really desirable legendaries out there that are only dropped by rare boss spawns, and it's hard to get those bosses to spawn in, and then it's really tough to get their legendary items. For example, the Rough Rider Shield. I saw a couple of those just briefly farming these machines, which is going to be a huge help to people that have a hard time getting those kinds of shields. That one's really great for doing glitches when you want like high speed and stuff like that. In addition to this incredible event, they're also doing something special for past cosmetics that we might have missed. They said previous cosmetics that you might have missed earlier are now being delivered to your in-game mail. Be sure to pick those up. I went into the game and then went into social and then checked my email and yeah, my inbox was maxed out with stuff from Gearbox, all the heads and skins, a lot of legendary items. If your email inbox is full, you may not be getting as many items. I'm not 100% sure on that, but hopefully this will help you guys out and we'll see you next video.